Well, unfortunately, I can't quite lift this bin full of heavy soil. So I was thinking of upgrading my cylinders by putting these one and a half inch bore cylinders in place of these one and a quarter inch. That'll give me more lifting power. And then installing these two inch in place of the one and a half, that'll give me more curling power. I'll have to do a bit of a modification on these. I'll have to cut off the cross tube on the top there, install a piece of steel to extend it out a little bit, and then re-weld the cross tube back on. The gap in between here is about two and a quarter. The width of the cylinder is two and a half, so I wanted to have it so that the top of the cylinder is just below this piece, and then the cross tube will still fit in between there. So far I've cut off one cross tube on the new cylinder. I have my new cross tube and extension held in place. Now I can weld it. Alright, looks like the first cylinder turned out pretty good. I fully extended the rod so the heat won't damage the seals. Looks like it turned out pretty good. Now on to the next one. I am now in the process of stripping off the paint on the cylinders. Then I can give my shot a primer and then I will paint him with John Deere Green. Both cylinders have been primed. They are now ready for a couple coats of the John Deere Green spray paint. First one is done, it turned out pretty good. The new cylinders have now been installed. The original ones have been painted and now are ready to be swapped with the smaller boom cylinders. The newly painted one and a half inch cylinders have been installed on a loader boom. There is an improvement in the lift capacity and we'll show you the results. 